Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Mark's Tech. So listen, why the heck am I comparing a budget Pixel to a flagship iPhone? I don't know. All jokes aside, I really want to see, oh man, why y'all got to be messaging me now, huh? Right when I'm doing the video, you just guys got to be messaging me, man. How do I put this thing into do not disturb? I did that. Anyway, what I was saying is I wanted to see if Pixel fixed the one big issue when it comes to video recording on the other A Pixel phones. Spoiler alert, they did not. <laughs> but also, I was just kind of curious to see what many updates can do to uh, to a camera hardware that is very old. This The, the camera hardware in here, from my understanding, uh, you guys got to keep in mind, I keep track of so many phones that sometimes I get things wrong. From my understanding, the hardware in here is from the Pixel 3, I think. Anyway, so I wanted to see how, how, how software as it progresses can change a phone's camera. And I just, I just wanted to see if it can still go up against the iPhone, a flagship iPhone in 2021. Spoiler alert, it does. It actually does a damn good job. So as always guys, let's go ahead and start this video. First, we will be doing the One X camera. From what I see, they're both realistically one-to-one. -one. The only difference I can see that really stands out is just the color reproduction. The Pixel is leaning more towards the warmer tones and the iPhone looks like it's leaning towards the cooler tones. Now that's not to say one's better than the other, it just comes down to personal preference. Putting color aside, as I've said, they both look fantastic. You, you can't go wrong with either of these two cameras. Moving over to the ultra wide, the iPhone does have a 12 megapixel f2.4 aperture lens and the Pixel does have a 16 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide lens. The main differences that I could spot with the ultra wide again is basically just the color and the actual contrast. But that's kind of weird because in some shots, the iPhone has more contrast and in other shots, the Pixel 5a has more contrast. Now this next test is a little unfair, I know, I know. The iPhone does have a 2.5 times optical and the Pixel A or 5a only has a 2x digital zoom. Um, but honestly, guys, I'm, I don't really see that big of a quality difference. They both look fantastic. Pixel did a great job with zooming in digitally, even though it's only two times, but still. So we're recording both phones in 4K 60. I, I did turn off video stabilization on the Google Pixel because it was on by default, but if you do keep it on, um, okay, never mind. My Pixel just stopped recording because it got too hot. So, um, not really sure what we're gonna do now. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess we'll just, uh, let me try again. Yep, well, that's not working. All right, well, I guess let's go back to the car. Keep in mind, it's not really hot outside. I mean, I'm sweating because I'm always sweating because that's just the weird person that I am. Um, wait, are we allowed to? Yes, we're allowed to record. That little button is not grayed, grayed out anymore, so we're gonna continue the test and uh, hopefully it doesn't overheat again. Yay. All right, so as I was saying, both phones are recording 4K 60. I turned off stabilization on the Google Pixel because it is on by default, but from the way it looks, uh, it's still very stable. Now I turned off video stabilization because, oh my God, it overheated again. <sighs> Guys, I swear, it's really not that hot, hot, hot outside. Well, my SIM card's in my Pixel so the temperature isn't showing, but I promise it's probably like 79 Fahrenheit. So I don't know how to do a video test with this thing keeps on overheating. I don't know. So I'm going to hurry up and do the front facing video test. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot do the rear video test because I've tried multiple times now and it just keeps overheating. I did double check and it is 79 outside, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like... I don't know, like 22 Celsius, I think. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I think it's around 22. So it's not, it's a nice weather. It's sunny, but it's not hot. So, and I, I can't do the rear facing video test because the phone keeps overheating, man. So I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna do the front facing video test. So we, so oh, I hope it looks good. I mean, I see the sky is blown out in both phones. Um, so 
I don't know. That kind of ruined my mood. Uh, all right, so I guess we'll just do this. Anyway, hopefully both phones look good. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> oh man. In these two photos, I am using an ultra wide using night mode. It was taken around 9 p.m. Um, when it comes to detail, basically both are identical. But the one thing that kind of drew my eye over to the pixel was that lens flare. I kind of wish that there wasn't any lens flare. In fact, iPhone is the one that's supposed to have lens flare. And in this photo, it doesn't. Weird how that works, huh? But um, either way, yeah, let me know which one of these two photos you guys prefer. The story is similar with these two photographs. This is using the One X, so the main camera. Um, you, you don't really get the lens flare, but you do get like a washed out look with a little bit of flare to it, but not as bad as the ultra wide. Um, the sky definitely looks a lot more blue than it really was. I think the sky is a little bit more accurate to how the iPhone portrayed it. But again, hey, people have different likes and dislikes. So maybe you guys like that kind of style. Again, as always, let me know. Now in this photo, um, the, the, the thing that drew my eye was definitely the pixel again, but this time for a good thing. Uh, the tree in the foreground is sharper. Now it may not look at it uh, or it may not look like it on a YouTube video, uh, but I'm looking at this from a 5k monitor and I'm zoomed in. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely sharper. The grass is sharper. Everything is sharper. But if you look at the tree on the right hand side in the background, it is a little hazed over on the pixel. In these two photos, by the way, these are the only selfies you guys are getting because I hate taking selfies. Um, anyway, uh, okay, so this is kind of different. Okay, so the, the Pixel did a lot better with HDR because there's not a hot spot from the, uh, from the light. But the iPhone literally did everything else better. Uh, my face is more evenly lit. My hair is evenly lit. Um, there's no um, kind of dark shadows, if that makes sense. Uh, but again, the Google is, uh, the, the Pixel is better with that HDR. Um, so I guess it all depends on how you want your photo to look like. All right, so I, I'm laughing because, <laughs> I'm laughing because I just tried to record this bit like 10 times, but I kept messing up and I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> Not literally, but man, I just want this video to be over with. So listen, you guys seen the comparison for yourselves, okay? So in my opinion, as always, iPhone wins in video, right? The, the Pixel 5a didn't really do good in video at all because it kept overheating all, so many times. I, I think I tried, I tried two on camera with you guys and then I tried once more and I think that's it. So I tried three times total. Every single time within like 20 seconds, it would stop video recording. Now, obviously, if you are a, a mom or a dad, imagine you're outside with your baby and the baby is about to have its first steps and you take your phone out, you take your pixel out to record that huge magical moment. I mean, it's not really magical for me. I don't really care, but you know, people are different. You, you take your phone out, you start recording and then right before the baby walks right before, because that's, that's what life is. Life hits you like a pile of bricks right before that happens. Your pixel says too hot, buddy wait a little bit <laughs> so you know that is kind of what it is so what did you guys think again i mean the iphone may have three cameras but as you guys saw the um the the, the 2x or the, the the telephoto comparison as you guys saw it wasn't really any different that's why i don't really like the telephoto on the iphone because it's nowadays phones that don't even have a telephoto lens can take telephoto photos that looked good, man. I'm I'm saying telephoto a lot. It's starting to sound not even like a real word. Telephoto. Nasty. So as always, drop me your comments down below. Which phone do you guys like best? Are you getting the Pixel 5a? All I know is a lot of people don't even know this thing is real. I've had a few people on Instagram message me saying, is that a real phone? <laughs> Cause they, I don't know. I mean, I guess Google kind of kept it really under the radar and the pixel six comes out like what next month. So I'm not really sure where this phone is supposed to be placed. I don't know, but full review coming soon as always and have a good one.